I want to make a quick video. I want to make you guys aware of how this works and what you can do. And I'm doing this live in OBS, so there might be some jump cuts every now and again. But let's talk about this shotgun and how it works with the raid weapons. And I didn't put it in my review, and I asked about five people, and that was kind of the threshold for me, and five did not know. So we have conditional finality from the Root of Nightmares raid. And we have a whole bunch of weapons. It's kind of a like a tragedy for some things, but really good for others. But when you look at this perk right here, we have Acacia's Dejection. And I wanted to make this video because I'm getting ready to review. I have <clears throat> fully crafted a couple of them. And I'm, I'm going to talk about this in those reviews, but I want you to be aware of them now. But we have Paracausal Affinity. It's a great perk. Final blows of energy types of matching this weapon's alignment to grant increased damage for a short period of time. And that is 20% more damage, and it's a self-proccing perk. Light final blows boost arc, solar, and void weapons. Darkness final blows boost stasis and strand weapons. So right now, I am currently on um, a void subclass, Night Stalker. This is a light weapon, so if I were to get a kill with, let's say, the grenade. I don't have any ammo, but Paracausal Affinity is going to be on there. It's 20% more damage. We also have Harmonic Resonance. For the raid weapons, equipping multiple weapons from this set grants this weapon increased reload speed and handling, deals increased damage to Tormentors, Lucent Hive, Guardians using their super. But the main idea behind Paracausal Affinity is if you're on a light subclass, it will proc on, let's say, the Dejection here. We also have, and I don't have Paracausal on it, but, you know, we have Briar's Contempt, the aggressive linear fusion rifle. So if you were to get, let's say, an arc void ability final blow, it will proc on this thing. And it's also, again, self-procking. That's what's nice. 20% more light weapon, get a light kill. It's procking on itself. 20% more damage. It's going to stay up. It's got about, a, I believe, a five-second timer. Then we add on surges, in which, by the way, I'm getting ready to really get into this. This is a, I believe, double strand surge. So how it works with Paracausal is if you have two surges on, it's 40% overall damage. And if you have on three, it's 46%. So just right under multi-kill clip. What I want to show you with this perk, Paracausal Affinity, yes, it's really good in PvP, self-procking, 20% more damage. And in PvE, think about it like Old Frenzy. It's more than Golden Tricorn. That also requires a kill. It's less than Kill Clip, but that requires a reload. It's more than multi-kill clip. So it's it's that in-between. Uh, but you can't think about it as get a quick final blow, shoot out an ad. You basically have the Old Frenzy, damage-wise. But if you decide to use this perk, I highly suggest that you triple surge it to get that 46% more damage, but that brings us to Conditional Finality. It's an excellent weapon, one of the best weapons they've ever made. Dual Barrel, Split Stasis, and Solar Damage. So that first burst is going to be Stasis that can freeze, and then we have the second bullet that's going to have the Solar Explosion. But on the perk, the trait, we have Paracausal Pellets. So you can kind of link together what's happening here. So landing nearly all Stasis Pellets will freeze, that's the first barrel, landing all Nearly solar pellets will ignite targets. That's the second barrel. So we know that it's self-procking, solar weapon, 20% more damage, paracausal affinity is up. But with the shotgun, make sure it goes away, the paracausal pellets, even though that this is the first shot being stasis, meaning it should not work, but the link of paracausal pellets, that final blow will proc paracausal affinity on any raid weapon that has it. And this is kind of a blessing and a curse, and I'll kind of show you why. We have Acacia's Dejection, and we also have Ness's Ablation. Both have Paracausal Affinity, but they're both special weapons that take special ammo, meaning with the shotgun, you would have to run double special. Now, in that situation, it would be the Trace Rifle, because you can run around with this thing. That's the solar part, but it's going to proc Paracausal Affinity, uh, I have reconstruction on this thing, and I, this could be my next review, and we'll talk about it, but it, it, it is a good combination. Double shotgun, not so much, right? But where this does help the most is we're going to take a look at Caraxes and Briar's Contempt. So when you look at the grenade launcher, if you were to run this shotgun, and again, all of this is centered around you're using the raid shotgun, because it's awesome, but this thing has paracausal affinity, maybe you can put on... Reconstruction, Envious Assassin, Demo, Chain, whatever you want. But the idea is, when you get kills with a shotgun, you're procking this perk no matter what in the background. And again, if you're doing this combination, you do want to run Triple Surge. That way, it is 46% more damage, so that's going to be above target lock on some of these weapons. It's right under Multi-Kill Clip times 3, which is one of the best damage perks in the game. And again, if you do get the Siphons, and you're running Triple in this 
case strand surge because it's a strand GL, it's going to continually proc. And if you have like on time dilation, it's just always going to stay at 46% more damage. But probably the best raid weapon to run the combination with, again, if you do plan to run the shotgun, the best paracausal affinity weapon is going to be Briar's Contempt. This is the aggressive linear fusion. Maybe you can do liquid coils or accelerated, charge time masterwork, whatever. You can do paracausal affinity, do that with rewind rounds, maybe incandescent. But the idea is while you're getting kills with a shotgun, it's going to proc paracausal affinity. And what's nice is the second part of the shotgun is a solar weapon. So it's also getting the solar siphon. So that shotgun burst is going to get the extra triple surge. And you might be wondering, well, why not harmony? But the deal with harmony is harmony can't self proc. So by itself, paracausal affinity, you shoot a yellow bar, or even an add to get to a yellow bar, you're getting that 20% more. And hopefully, again, you have triple surge to make that 46% more damage, but you could run around with the shotgun and always pull to one of these heavy weapons with paracausal. That's where it's gonna be the best. And that's why I said it's kind of like a blessing and a curse because it's really good with these heavy weapons. And I wanna make you aware of that. So as you're getting your rolls, as you're crafting, if you have the shotgun, this is kind of what they were going for. Moving back to the game here, Acacia is going to be the second best option. And what I would have really liked is if we had a raid, I don't know, pulse rifle or scout, just something that could go right here that takes primary ammo that also has paracausal because we do have some of the weapons up here, like the sidearm, they have paracausal, but that's taking the place of the shotgun. The whole idea is that this perk right here can proc any of them in these. Doesn't have to be light, doesn't have to be solar, just a kill with this will proc paracausal affinity on any weapon that's in your special or heavy. So quick video, I wanted to make you aware. Uh, the trace rifle is going to be next, and then I do have uh, Nesses fully done and crafted. And uh, these are actually kind of hard, right? Because there's a part of me that loves this combination. If you're gonna run double special with a trace, this is one of the better combinations in the game for double special. It really is, because they work off of each other. Uh, but otherwise, there's just some 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 hard things going on as far as picking and choosing where you wanna go with them. The shotgun's no different, so we'll work through those in future videos. But if you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about conditional finality down below. The perk itself, Paracausal Affinity, which by the way, PvP, it's a great perk because it's self-procking 20% more. If you want it for PvP, you just need to go that route anyway. PvE is a little bit more difficult, and a lot of it does require the shotgun. Not necessarily required, but really elevates the build and makes it pretty seamless. Let's talk about it down below. Thank you guys for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.